2009 Mercury Milan. I think a Ford Fusion is the same junk. Radiator time. I'm going to start this job off by taking off this lower shroud. There's a little panel popper doojimahickeys on here. I'm going to pull these off. They're two piece if you don't know how these work. You got to pull this button out and then the rest of it pops. These are seven millimeter. I'm going to drain this radiator. In the beginning of the video, you saw where it's leaking. There's a little red cap right here. You unscrew that and then it leaks out of here. I'm going to put a hose on this so I don't make too much of a mess. This dude, Mahickey right here, you know, I put a hose on here. You probably don't need to, but I did. I'm going to let it dribble. Next thing I got to work on is getting this, uh, oh, this cooling fan out of here. So there's like little clippy things holding these lines in. And I got to squeeze that tab and kind of pop these out of here. There's a bracket right here for the lower radiator hose. It's just pinched on here. Pop that off. I'm going to turn it up out of the way. There's a plastic clip right here that I need to pop off to. It's stuck on the hose that actually broke which is um, not uncommon. There's a clip up in here you gotta take off. This is a plug for the, for the cooling fan right here. You wanna unplug this thing. I'm gonna do it from underneath. I think it's gonna be easier than trying to get at it from up top. Not a whole lot of room up there. I wanna get these wires out of my way. More little plastic push clips on these. Just got to wiggle them around and pull them up. We got one way down here. It's in a bad spot. Okay, this stupid wire's loose. There's little tabs. You push these tabs in. When you pull up on the shroud, do that to both sides. Push in, pull up, and uh, it should be undone. Yeah, it's undone. It's not coming out yet, though. I'm going to unplug this, this hood switch just to make sure I don't wreck anything trying to take it off. And uh, I'm going to take this upper radiator hose off, too. So there's a pinch clamp on this that's in a fun spot to get at. I got a cable hose clamp remover for this. You got to be careful with these hoses too because there's a lot of plastic on all this stuff. And it, when they get older, they, this stuff breaks real easy. Okay, I'm going to try again to get this conglomerate mess out of here. It's really tight. This clicky wiry things is kind of in my way. Okay, okay. I'm getting it. Ever so carefully. There. I got that piece of junk out of there. What now? I'm going to use two screwdrivers. You got to push up and on both of these tabs and push them through. There's one over here and there's one over here. Just pull up a little and push them through. And when you get that, they just slide out like, like so. See, one on each side. Funky. Got a pinch clamp on this. You 
These training lines are a 16 millimeter. I got a drain pan down there. The pan I'm using is empty because then I don't have to check the fluid. I'm just going to measure how much I took out and put the same exact amount back in because I'm lazy like that. After this gets done dribbling, I'm going to take that lower radiator hose off. I'll do that after so I don't get any coolant in my transmission fluid I'm going to measure. And they're hanging more stuff on the radiator. They seem to love to do this. Oh, that broke. Typical brittle plastic junk. Now there's a, there's a really stupid clip buried way down in here that I gotta get out. Another bright Ford engineering idea. I don't even know if you can see this. More crack smoking engineers. There, I got it. I had to get in here with a hook tool. Jesus, man, you can't even see the thing. Let's see if I can get a view of this stupid crap. Yeah, that clip right there. Right there. I got in here with a hook tool. I pushed in this clip. You can probably barely see this button right here. That button. Pop that out. Jesus. Crack smoking. Crack smoking Ford engineers. You gotta get in here somehow and try to get this thing out of here. There, something like that. I don't know, I got half of it out. I got the button out. There, there's the rest of it right there. Little bastard. Bunch of crap. The habit of attaching more junk to the radiator. On this side, there's another one of these clips that are probably hard as a rock and are going to break. Wow, it didn't break. That's an amazing story. Well, there's more amazing tricks these engineers did. They, uh, they made some stuff that's really difficult to get at. Without taking half the freaking car completely apart. It's just stupid, the stuff these people do. I can't believe they're still in business. I can't believe people buy this stuff. I really can't. So, anyways, I'm going to put some 2x4s in here to pry this back a little bit. Looks like I only need to do it on the one side. Now, there's little tabs back in here. Right there. You can't get at them. And they're holding the AC condenser and, uh, the transmission cooler onto the radiator. Now I'm just going to get a pry bar in here and break them things out of there. Just give them a snap. Do the same to this side. This one's a little funner to get at. I got them. Well, you might, might have missed that view. The drop rod was in the way. But I took this AC condenser. It's, it's kind of neat. It's got a condenser and the transmission cooler is all tied into the same thing. And you just get in here after you get them tabs off and just lift up on the thing and get it out of the way because there's little grooves down on the bottom that hold it in. Well, I think that transmission's done dripping enough, so I'm going to get this lower radiator hose off of here. All kinds of crap in the way, just move it. 
I got the junk. Okay, reverse procedure. I accidentally set this clamp for the lower radiator hose. There's a tab on it. So this is open right now. Okay, now I just need to fill it up with coolant and uh, run it and make sure it doesn't leak. Okay, bye. I forgot to mention, you gotta burp this thing out. You gotta turn this screw. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, it's burped, it's burped. Jeez, wow.